Hello friend, are you ready to join the renaissance of what God is doing around the world? When I wrote the order, my book, The Order of Melchizedek, I've been flooded with many, many questions. One of them is, is Dr. Miles, why do you think the church will die if it does not enter the order of Melchizedek? Wow. Well, you see, if the church does not enter the order of Melchizedek, it means this, that the church will continue on the pathway it has been on, which is the, the belief system that somehow through a loud speaking oratory preacher from speaking from a Sunday morning pulpit, the church was going to somehow change culture. And yet, over hundreds of years of this type of strategy, the nations are, are more corrupt. We are losing the economies of nations. And the church itself is being affected and is becoming a hostage to the culture. Why? Because the present mindset of the church does not allow the, the theology of the church to embrace the necessity and the importance of the marketplace in its body of teachings. But by understanding the order of Melchizedek, since Melchizedek was a king and a priest, it means that if he was a king and a priest, then his priestly ministry cannot be restricted to temple activity. As a king, he can speak to business, he can speak to media, he can speak to arts and entertainment, he can speak to government, he can speak to the law, he can speak to finance, he can pretty much speak to any engines of, engine of culture that is driving the machinery of what we call the world economy. So when the, the church understands the order of Melchizedek, it will be giving itself the permission to activate many of the sleeping giants in their church, and the, the sleeping giants are men and women who are, con who are called to conquer the other mountains. The other, what, what I call the other mountain kingdoms. Because some of you may never be able to preach the, uh, a sermon like Billy Graham, but nobody can put together a film that, that can change the world like you because you are called to, to three mountain media and arts and entertainment. But why are you languishing just the, uh, warming the pew of a church when you could be uh, creating a blockbuster movie that, that, like, like the Chronicles of Narnia, for instance, that changes the world? This is why it's important for the church to understand the order of Melchizedek because the theology of the church needs a desperate, is in desperate need of divine interception so that we can activate, so pastors don't think they are the solution to the world's problems. No, my friend, it is about activating these believers, these Christians who are sitting in the pews who have got business mantles that can make them uh, heads of Fortune 500 corporations that can employ millions of people, influence government policy. That's the kind of direction the church must take. But it can only take it when the church understands the order of Melchizedek. Because that order gives it the right theology for engaging the marketplace. But you know what? I'm out of time, but not that of revelation. But to get free uh, videos on the order of Melchizedek, please simply enter your name and email and also visit my website at themarketplaceapostle.net for more life-changing information.